Um, literally doing things like not talking to me all day and then texting me like, I hope you have a good night. Like, sir, <laughs> are you okay? Like, I didn't, I didn't text you the whole day. Like, I'm, I'm glad you're alive. Thank you for checking in. But like, you couldn't like say good morning. I think I like uh, good morning better than good night. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, it's funny. it's really yeah, like, yeah. Men funny. We are. <laughs> <laughs> But when a man wants something, he gonna show you. And if you're not making me feel wanted, then I feel like I gotta go on to the next person. Like, I need you to make it clear. Like, do you want me or do you want me not? Because these breaks, these five days in between, however many days you need, it's doing too much for me. It's hurting my heart, okay? It's hurting my feelings. I feel unwanted. A lot of people neglect effective communication because a lot of people don't know how to communicate. Y'all watching how y'all parents used to communicate or just thinking about the way you grew up in your trauma filled life. Like, <laughs> let that trauma go and learn how to just speak about how you feel. You don't have to yell about how you feel all the time. It's like, things that you don't think men are looking at. I swear to God, <laughs> men are looking at nails. As much as y'all think they I'm not. Ready. As much as y'all think they not, they looking at your fingernails. Every time you go and you got your card about to swipe or whatever you're doing, you talking to them, you talk with your hands like me. I've been doing this the whole video. They looking and they be like, oh, girl, your nails nice. I be like, oh, yeah, you want to pay for them? <laughs> <laughs> That's real, though. Greetings, family. It's your boy, the minister, the Reverend Jay Whitfield Inspires. Coming back at you once again with another video. And today we have in studio, if you call it that, the very lovely and talented Jazzy Lakira. You know what I'm saying? She's here. She's here. She's here. Yes. And so today we're going to get a, a she's a cancer, by the way. We're going to get a cancer's perspective on dealing with and dating Virgo men and also just men in general, because y'all know I'll talk about uh Virgo men all the time y'all be like you don't never have no female perspective it's all about you this and that i got y'all today all right so we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get into it and you can follow jasmine and all her social media handles and things like that she's into a lot of stuff she's into astrology she's into tarot card reading she's into makeup fashion lashes and all that good stuff i'll let her talk about it so jasmine introduce yourself let people know who you are and all that good stuff hi y'all Ooh, i feel nervous I feel nervous. Okay, but give people what they want. Um, what's up, y'all? I should go, Jazzy Bukira. Um, basically, like you said, I do a little bit of everything. I have my own YouTube channel. It is under Jazzy Bukira Two H's. We will definitely have that handle up here somewhere. Yeah, I like that. Um, I give advice, relationship advice. Um, I sell lashes, I do makeup, I got skincare routines, I got everything that you need, like literally it's all right here. <laughs> <laughs> there but, it is, man, there it is. So you don't know I am a Virgo, and I want to know from your perspective, what do you think about, is it hard, is it not hard dealing with and dating Virgo men from your perspective? And then I'm coming in with some few questions, just, just a, a quick overview, what is your take on dealing with and dating Virgo men? Um, okay, I think that it's complicated, but I don't think that it's complicated and not hard at the same time. It's like once you figure out that person, it becomes easier to deal with that Virgo man because everyone, every Virgo or every man in general has their own, uh, what's the word I want to use? They have their own ways about them that you have to, you know, learn learn through experiences with them but other than that like dealing with virgo men is not as hard as y'all might think it is <laughs> right right but i know i see a lot of ladies i be getting a lot of them hit me up about um virgo men and ghosts and things like that mm -hmm. like why they don't call me back is it something i did is something wrong with me from your experience with them how, how does it make you feel when they like when they don't like call back text back when they need a space what did you be thinking what be going on how do they communicate with you um, so yes, ghosting happens and when it does happen, I automatically feel like, I just felt like he didn't like me anymore or maybe he was interested in something else. Like maybe I just wasn't the one for him, but like really Virgo men be so busy, like they be so busy. Um, I wish a lot of people would understand that they keep their time pretty occupied. Um, nice. and even when it's not occupied, like necessarily doing something that you might think is important, like they might be playing a video game or something that's mad important for them. They needed that space by themselves to play that video game or whatever. Yeah, that's so why true. They, I've been saying stuff like that. It's for real. Yeah. Like, and they really not talking to you because they playing a the video game and not because they're out doing whatever with this other person. But 
I'm telling y'all, man, patience. If you want to like Ooh. get your patience tested, a Virgo man is definitely gonna test your patience. You That's have true. to have that. Yeah. That's true, man. Like, look, every girl I dealt with and dated, I told, I told her front like, look, you gotta have some patience with me because I'm trying. And this, this is how I am. I'm not saying I'm the end all be all. It gotta go like this, but I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of a lot of ladies don't be understanding. You know, just how Virgo men are in their minds and their hearts and how they operate. And like you said, they think that we don't be liking them, but we really do. And Virgo, we we hold a lot of stuff in, mm -hmm. right? And so you gotta really pay attention to him and know him to really understand his mannerisms, his movement, and things of that nature. Now, what are some of the frustrations that you have with Virgo men? Some frustration that made you mad, and you're like, you know what, I can't. Um, literally doing things like not talking to me all day and then texting me like, I hope you have a good night. Like, sir, <laughs> are you okay? Like, I didn't, I didn't text you the whole day. Like, I'm, I'm glad you're alive. Thank you for checking in. But like, you couldn't like say good morning. I think I like uh, good morning better than good night. Like, how you just come out of no, but, but what I can say, that is, in my opinion, a way of a Virgo man letting you know that you was on my mind throughout the day. And before I close this day out, I want you to know that you was on my that. mind. Um, that. That's something that you don't understand until they stop doing it because you've been complaining so much. Or you, when you be complaining about little stuff like that, you push them away. Because for for a Virgo man, in my opinion, it's like, like I said, that's them trying to show you, like, I'm thinking about you and I care about you. And then you're complaining about the fact that they doing this. It's like, I'm already making time for you now. Like, it might make that person feel like, well, I don't even feel like making time for you now. That's how it's going to be every time I say goodnight to you or whatever the case is. So, yeah. seriously. Yeah, funny, it's man. really yeah, like, yeah. Virgo men funny. We are. <laughs> <laughs> we all funny. We all funny, man. That, that's true. So, one, one thing um, I tell the ladies on the channel a lot is when you want to link up with a Virgo man, this and that, you got interest in him, look good. Be feminine and stuff like that. How does... What do you think about that? How what I said about that? Like, cause I know I like that. If I'm, if I'm dealing with a woman, I see I want her look good coming in a visual. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I've also been with women who they they you know I mean not every single time, but mostly I, I met up with them. They just weren't looking good. And I'm like, yo, what's what's going on? Is it is it me? Because yeah. when I see you with your friends, you be looking bomb. You know, y'all at the y'all at the party, whatever. You know, y'all look you look like supermodel. We give me you know it's bonnet. You know, yeah. and we take that as disrespect. So how you feel about that? You feel like, is it required? I mean, do you, do you like that? You're not like that as a woman? And you, um, she's a cancer, by the way. So you know what I'm saying? I mean, naturally, when I go see my man, regardless of if he's a Virgo or not, I be trying to look good because I want to turn my man on. Like, I want to turn him on before he touch me. Like, I want you to see me and you just naturally attracted to me. Um, right. Like, yeah, like, I just want you to be like, dang, every time you see me. But what I can say is, a uh, girl was definitely taking this wig off. Let me tell y'all <laughs> The wig be coming off. You get comfortable. It's like I can't wear the wig all the time. Like he, as long as he knows that, like as I can't look good. I don't think it really bothered him as much when I wasn't looking my best. Cause it's like okay, I know that you walking around here and you got the Allen Iverson corn braids. I mean cornrows in your head, and funny, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But I know how you look when we gonna step out this door. So it's okay. That's true. That's that's a good point. Cause with me in general. They like to know how you look all the time. You know, it's like, okay, we know sometimes you get glammed up, sometimes you don't. But when you don't, do you still look good? You know, mm -hmm. that's that's a lot of men's fear. And if, yeah. and if you keep it, you know, the guys, like, if you can just keep it consistent and switch it up or whatever, guys will respect it. He's like, okay, I see you doing you. I yeah. see that. So I ain't got no problem with it. That's 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 how most guys look, especially Virgos. Virgos are very particular. Very particular and what? very picky. So My you nails be, and feet always do. Yeah, please show people your nails, because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you already know, like, yeah, we like stuff like that. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, she do, she do the type of stuff, you know. And like I said, she is a cancer. And I know y'all probably want to know. Uh, I made a video about it, but uh, like cancer and Virgo compatibility. I think it's very, very, they are, they are very compatible. Mm -hmm. Because one, like I always say, cancers are very emotional. And the way they are emotional is, in my opinion, my experience. I'm going to let Jasmine tell her because she you knows she's an actual cancer. You know what I'm saying? So... But in my opinion, the way they are emotional is that they have a lot of love in their heart. And they have a lot of love to give. You know, they, they just, I don't know. It's just like God just poured like three more cups of love in their heart. You know, and they don't like when people, when things don't, when people that they like, friends with, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, don't get that love back. They think something wrong. You know, mm -hmm. they, they take it, they'll cry. Ooh. You know, they'll cry a lot. 
you know, and they they can shower you with love. However, the some of the best love I ever had was from cancer. You know, I be saying that like for real, because like they give a lot. Sometimes Virgos be like, man, it's too much. I can't deal yeah. with it. But once it leaves, you be like, dang. You know. So tell us about the cancer, the, the love of a cancer woman, and how you feel like Virgos can receive that. You know, just from your experience and just what you think. Cause um, it's very important. As a cancer woman, like I can speak for all cancers to say that we're very nurturing and we are yes. very loving. We are like the mother of all the zodiac signs. Like we literally act like a mom to a lot of people. That's why our love is so different. So when we love you, we're making sure you eat. We're making sure you got everything that you have. Even if we out and you not with us, we're thinking about stuff that you may need. Um, just and it can be overwhelming for anyone because it's just a lot think about people who never received that type of love before mm, um true. think about and just literally not being able to handle that because some people don't even know how to deal with those type of emotions or feelings they're trying to wonder how do you love me so much to feel like going out of your way to do these things for me and it's like boy because i love you Duh. <laughs> like i'm gonna that's take funny, care man. of you that's true like they, they can't ain't like that cancer love is fire you know what i'm saying it's like i was like yo come on man Cause I, like I said, y'all, y'all, I told stories how I was uh, love these cancer women back in the day, like college and stuff like that. And at first, it was just so much. I was like, yo, what kind of person are you? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, chill. But when she chilled, I was like, yo. But it, the flip side is... When we stop, we really stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a joke. It'd be like, oh, okay, you said stop. Yeah, so it's I like... You no, know that's indefinite. Like You know, you really feel it. You feel it. It's like cancer Virgos there. You know, you, you really feel that space because it was so hot and now it's so cold you're like wow man i ain't really mean that you know yeah, what i'm saying about what you said like damn, and the reason why I said that. like cancers affect virgo so much you know we are earth sign and we love love we actually do mm-hmm. and for some reason in my opinion the cancer's love just kind of pierces his heart you know i, I think it's the i don't know if it's the consistency or the just the uh what's, what's the word looking for Oh, it don't stop. It's like an overflow. It's like an overflow of love. It's like a waterfall. Yeah. And it just really don't stop. Because we just really love. We love love so much. You'd be like, here, you want some more? I have more. And it's so genuine. Take it. I think that's what I'm looking for. It's very genuine. genuine. It's very genuine. That is a very genuine love. We can, I think that's why Virgos tolerate cancers. <laughs> you know, that's why Virgos tolerate cancers like that. Because the love is genuine. And no, it's hard for us to turn, turn that genuine love away. It really is. Yeah. Like, yo. You know it's real. It's real. So real always recognize real. It's, it's, it's real, man. So, the next thing. When Virgos, when they, we kind of addressed it already. When they need that space, mm-hmm. right? And usually, you know, some people say they need space. It's like, okay, look, I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. When Virgos do it, it'd be like three or four days. Two, three, four days, you know. So, how does that? One, how does that make you feel? You know, does it make you angry? Do you want to like hit him, not talk to him no more? Like what? That space like that. Because that, I mean, we be needing that. And then you and a cancer woman, you gotta be close. Yeah. You know, so what, what how did it make you feel? Um, well, honestly, luckily for me with my Virgo, I didn't have to go through that because once I addressed how much I didn't like talking, he made sure that he talked to me every day. Um, That's he a good made point. sure, yeah, he made sure that he spoke to me all the time. Everybody's not gonna be that way though. Like, everybody's not going to be that way. Um, Initially, when we first started dating, he did used to take those days off. But I guess it didn't affect me much then because it was like I didn't know where we were going. But once things got more serious, um, he changed how he was coming at me. But like I said before, um, anytime a man takes like a long periodically time, say (laughs) (laughs) not. Anytime. Anytime a man takes a long time to respond to me in general, I think you're not interested. Um, Not that I feel like I need to be prioritized or I need to be on the very top of your priority list. But when a man wants something, he gonna show you. And if you're not making me feel wanted, then I feel like I gotta go on to the next person. Like, I need you to make it clear. Like, do you want me or do you want me not? Because these breaks, these five days in between, however many days you need, it's doing too much for me. It's hurting my heart, okay? It's hurting my feelings. I feel unwanted. That's a great point. I want to touch on that. I do talk about that a lot, um, different videos or whatever, is I always say, when you are feeling, you dating Virgo, when you are feeling these things, you do need to speak up and speak up consistently about it. Because a lot of times we are so habitual and we are so stuck in our ways, we feel like what we're doing is right, even though it may be wrong. 
right? Mm -hmm. Even though women may be suffering, we'd be like, what's the problem? I'm to the problem. This, this is who I am. You know, so you have to really have to voice that. You know, and some people will respond quicker than others. But it's, but it's very important that the way you say you did it, tell him in a way that he can understand. That's important too. Yes. The way you communicate. Don't be yelling and screaming. Don't be yelling and screaming <laughs> and trying to do all of this. Don't be all up in his face doing this. And because they don't like that. Because one thing I have learned from dealing with a Virgo man is like they will really talk to you. Like you can talk to them. You can have a nice, calm, one on one conversation about whatever the issue is. You do not have to yell at that person. I did one time though, I'm gonna let y'all know. Man, what happened? I did one time because he did that thing again, like not talking to me all day, but saying good night or something. And oh, I just, I, I was drinking, y'all. Oh, I mean. And I went off and I was like, I don't know how many times I got to tell you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and he was like, okay, I understand. You're right. But you didn't have to talk to me like that. Yeah. And I didn't like how I made him feel from talking to him like that. So that made me stop talking to him like that. Because that let me know right then and there that he is always open to having a discussion with me. And I don't have to treat him like he's my child, like yelling at him, like he really don't understand me. But he do. You have to learn how to effective communication is so important. Mm, a lot of people, a lot of people neglect effective communication because a lot of people don't know how to communicate. Y'all watching how y'all parents used to communicate or just thinking about the way you grew up in your trauma filled life. Like <laughs> let that trauma go and learn how to just speak about how you feel. You don't have to yell about how you feel all the time. Hey, that's hey, that's real. That's that's preaching right there. Now you know I learned something. No, seriously. You know, like for effective communication. I think maybe a word of your effective communication. Not just communication, but effective communication. And what I took from that is effective communication means understanding how this person receives information, mm -hmm. understanding how to talk to them, understanding how to approach them. You know, from both sides. Understand it's just effective because like you said, if you're yelling at a person, even though you might be one hundred percent right, nine times out of ten they're not gonna receive it. Mm -hmm. You know. It's is because it, you really want a better outcome of whatever the situation may be. I always use this example of, you know, if you got if somebody is ill, right, from a sickness and you have the cure, you know, you have the vaccine, mm -hmm. right? And you come in like, yo, you about to die. You need to take this vaccine or in three minutes it's over. Mm -hmm. Now it's not going to you're not going to take it. Like, whoa. Exactly. Like three minutes. Let's, let's, you, you look like to calm down. But if you, same thing, like, look, you know, you, you're sick. I got this vaccine. I really think it can, it can help you. Here's what's here. What it is about. Here's what's in it. Da, 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 da. I think you can hear. They be like, you know what? I might. I might want to try that. Exactly. Approach. Effective communication. That's some real stuff. It's a real thing. You know what I mean? People be screaming communication, but you can communicate something. Is it received? Did, is your message received? Is it received? Yeah. So, so in your experience, what else, what are some negative things that uh, you've seen from men as far as like you trying to talk to them? They weren't. Like, they weren't receiving it. I don't know the question too long. And on the flip side, what are some negative things you may have done where you thought it was going good, but, or well, you thought communication was effective, but it wasn't? So, same thing, same vice versa question. Um, Just two examples. Basically, sometimes when you're trying to voice how you feel, um, men always automatically think you're being like dramatic and they try to shut it down. Um, I see that, that's true. They, like, when you start talking about your feelings or whatever, men typically try to make it seem like you're being emotional or you don't know how to have a logical conversation about your feelings so once logic is out the window men don't really want to hear it that's a good point man. Yeah. um and one thing i can say from a women's perspective and um talking about your feelings and effective communication you have to also like i was just saying you have to learn to draw your feelings out you can speak about your feelings without being emotional like it's like writing a paper like you can have a thesis statement and like your three body paragraphs with all the information or whatever and it can still be logical but it's about your feelings it doesn't necessarily have to be emotional because like i said mm. men don't want to hear the emotional stuff like hit them with logic <laughs> that's what makes sense to them like that's, that's so what true. makes sense yeah that's for, that's real men that's are real. not really in tune with their feelings like how like it's some men who are and then there's a lot of men who's not so in order to make him understand you got to break it down in logic you have to break it down in mm. things that they understand that's why y'all need to know y'all man before y'all be getting in all these situations and stuff oh, with these people because y'all don't be knowing these people y'all be jumping right like <laughs> it's like <laughs> it got in and run there was no run it wasn't no skip it wasn't no it was just right over the edge That's hilarious. and then you head over heels for somebody literally head over heels and you didn't even know that person 
slow down learn your person in order for you to be able to even communicate with them it doesn't matter which playing field it is as a man or a woman know that person oh yo that's that's golden right there i, I talk about that a lot too man you know uh you know taking the time getting to you know a guy because guys are different and it, i like what you said about um the logic thing i do say this a lot too because men are it's first virgo men men are very logical mm -hmm. and when it's too much emotion from a woman it shuts us down and not saying you can't be emotional because women are naturally emotional so mm -hmm. emotion is not a bad thing but it's just when when dealing with a guy you got to know that he's not gonna the emotion's gonna kind of shut him off you know so you gotta really like so you gotta break it down like here, here's what happened because this is how men think men want to know a b c exactly you know indeed they not trying to hear you talk about a and you ran through b c and d before you got like they want to hear it literally broken down like a schedule i'm trying to tell y'all have y'all thoughts um have your thoughts organized when you're going to speak to this man like literally i'll be writing it out in a text <laughs> message i'm not even gonna lie i'll be having it in a text message and i'll be going over it to make sure that it makes sense because yeah. the point is since we're going to make effective communication you think you the maybe? word of the video the words of the video yes um in order for it to be effective it needs to be like it has to make sense so read it over again like your proofreading mm -hmm. do something that makes sense to make it make sense to this other person because how can you expect somebody to understand what's going on in your head you are not that person and that person is not you no matter how bad you wish or want or how much y'all think y'all have in common you are not that person and that person is not you they don't like you gotta do better <laughs> yo that's real man yeah, that's that's so real and the last thing uh, i, I kind of said it already i want to address when your respect my perspective is um we talked about it the other day femininity mm -hmm. a woman being feminine a man being masculine and sometimes how women can be too masculine dealing with a guy especially with a real guy what's something that women can do and what's something you do that helps with uh that femininity being more feminine and just working in that because men really respond to feminine women especially broken men we, we love feminine women but sometimes we approach women that's a little too masculine mm -hmm. you know just like sometimes you may approach a man that's a little too feminine mm -hmm. but let me say this now we both have feminine and masculine energy as human beings in us but you know y'all feel what i'm saying so what are some things you think women can do and something that you do to kind of just help that um femininity I mean, I'm a very feminine person. Like, I, I was like, y'all, I wish y'all knew the argument we was having before we started this video about this headband because I'm like, this is the, my femininity part. I'm like, no, because this is like my personality in a headband. But I'm yeah. like, no, this headband so big. Like, little cute stuff like that. Like, my watch is pink. My nails are pink. Like, I have pink perfume and it's Versace and it smells good. Like, Versace, Versace, Versace. I'm wearing, like, you know, I got on this nice little dress. It's warm outside. It's warm outside. You know, my makeup is done. I got earrings and, you know, I'm just out here. Got my neck necklaces like things that you don't think men are looking at i swear to god <laughs> men are looking at nails as much as y'all think they not as much as y'all think they not they looking at your fingernails every time you go and you got your card about to swipe or whatever you're doing you talking to them you talk with your hands like me i've been doing this the whole video they looking and they be like oh girl your nails nice i'd be like oh yeah you want to pay for them <laughs> that's real though that's real um and even like bumping into a man who's too feminine, <laughs> it ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, for some people, me personally, I like manly men. Like I like masculine men. Like I like I love a man. Like oof, especially a black one. It and is, they, man. It's not nothing wrong with the rest of y'all with them black men. They do something to me. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look, I, I, like I said, I, t I talk about it a lot, and and I, I tell ladies like, yo, you don't have to be masculine when dealing with a guy because really you just be in your femininity because in my opinion femininity and masculinity are equal strength it's just different you know and society tends to look down on femininity call it weaker only because physically the woman is weaker than a man physically but it doesn't mean femininity yeah it's weak because it's yeah. not it's very very powerful because i always the concept of um the hulk and the little woman he just did mm -hmm. with you know and Lady. she's like the only one that can calm him yeah, down. Yeah, it's her femininity. You know, I mean, that's the perfect example. Her love. And she not she not jumping up and down with him. That's him. She just like, look, 
relax, calm down. Eventually, just, it, it, ha it has happened to me plenty of times. I was fire mad, girl I was dealing with, she just looked, showed me love, and eventually I just, I just couldn't. It just, I just calmed down. I'm like, okay, I see, I see what you're doing. And I guess I'll just the masculinity part, um, you know, because like I said, most women I know want a masculine guy, and it's important for men to be masculine, just like it's important for women to be feminine. And I see masculine as, you know, um, out with a lady, doing things a man should do. You know, every woman wants to feel protected, you know, secure when she's out with a guy and things like that. You know what you gotta do with things as a man should do to make a woman feel secure, because most women are not gonna feel secure with a feminine man. You know, so it go it goes both ways on both sides. But anyway, you know, um, that's just our little thing today. As far as like dealing with men, Virgo men and things like that from a cancer woman. Period. You know. And so like I said, y'all can follow Jasmine everywhere social media and stuff like that she has a, a lot of great perspectives on things life love relationships you know family and all that good stuff so i mean y'all can really hit her up follow her get her some of her products you know she gave me some somebody but uh stuff I mean, you yes know, she, i she literally do everything like if you ask for it i got it <laughs> hey, hey she got it man so yeah we're gonna end this right here but y'all look like share subscribe like share subscribe you know what i'm saying and um, we out. Booyah.